Yo, fuck an intro, fuck an outro. You already know what it is. It's your boy's eye. And today, we got the Black University Gold 12s. All right, so let me tell you how I got this. This was one in a raffle. This shit was actually not hard to get. It wasn't, it wasn't, I'll probably say like, it was It was a fair amount of them. If you wanted them, you had a high possibility of them. It wasn't really rare. It's not really limited like that. I ended up getting a... So these ended up retail being like 190. So plus tax, where I'm from, I think it came out to be about like two, 205, 210. I think it was 210 ish, 205, somewhere in that area. All right, but enough of my talking. Time to get inside the shoe. But they're actually not that bad. Simple black and yellow design. All right, let's take a closer look now. If you look at the front, we don't necessarily have a toe toe like how we would have on one. So I guess you could say the toe would basically be like this black part right here, which is also one piece that's connected all the way from the front to the back. Then if you have a look around, you'll see this one big leather patch right here, University Gold. If we look further back into the shoe, like I said, the front, this whole piece, this whole black piece is just one piece. It does have little stitches and little grooves, but it's really just one big piece and it's all black. You have Jumpman written right here, the midsole black. If we go to the back of the shoe, we can see the bottom is gel. It's also University Gold. And it's coming up a little bit on the heel. You have the 23 right here, Jumpman written from the bottom to the top in white writing with gold stitching around it. And you have your Jumpman right here, in black with a gold background. Now if we also look at this side, same design on the other side, no difference. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, we have a little bit of black right here where I'm pointing at, also in the front of the shoe. Above that, you have the Jumpman also in black right here. Now beneath the gel, you can see that there's a little bit of carbon fiber if you take a close look. We take a quick look at the top. The tongue is black, shoestring is black. And up close, written on the tongue reads, T-W-O-3 in gold lettering, starting from the top down to the bottom. There's a gold stitch Jumpman on the tongue. Also, if you look in the inside, the whole foot padding is black, but at the heel is a gold Jumpman logo. All right, now it's time to look at both shoes together. All right, here are both shoes together. Looking at both shoes, the left and the right, there's no pattern difference. Now it's time to take a close look at both shoes in detail together. Here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the other side. Here's the back. Here's the bottom. Here's the top. All right, review time now. All right, so let's check this out. One out of 10, I give these shoes a seven and a half. I give them a seven and a half because it's almost trying to touch eight, but it's nothing that's very eye catching to me. But I don't give it a seven because it isn't exactly average. The uh, contrast between the bright color and the dark color, they actually look kind of clean. I think you can pull them off in a cool outfit. But I rock them? Probably so. The whole shoe does feel nice. When I was holding it in my hand, the leather was kind of buttery smooth, especially around the yellow part that's right here. And all the stitching and all the aligning also looked pretty good too. It wasn't off and it didn't look terrible and it didn't look like it was a rushed or sloppy job. But other than that, yeah, that's been my review, man. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section. Go ahead and check my channel out. But anyway, though, it's been your boy's eye. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.